Um, so now let's go ahead and do this last one. This is an opt-in box. And we'll start combining uh, all these different elements. So to begin, let's go ahead and insert a new table. We want it to have uh, one row, two columns. I'm going to make it um, 600 wide. And I'm going to center it. All right. Right. So that's what that looks like, right? And then we have, um, and then we have our table. So let's go ahead and insert another table. And I want this to be, we'll say, 300 wide, 350 wide maybe. And three rows, two columns sounds good. Well, uh, we're not going to set the alignment. We'll give it um, five padding here, though. Okay. All right. And then we need to insert another check mark. And green check mark. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Make this 25 pixels. Still going to give it some spacing here. Click OK, and then I need to set the width of the cell. I'm going to set that to 30. And then I've got, I'll just copy this up here. I've got my features, right? Or my, my actual text to describe what's going on. And I want to paste these and uh, I do not want oops, table properties to have a border there we go so we got that and uh, we actually have another one another checkbox up here too didn't we so let's go ahead and put that in there we go I'm gonna leave it just that size Get some spacing here. 55 is too much. There we go. Okay. And let's uh, let's maybe center this table here too. All right. Give it a little indent. And now in this field, we're going to have our our opt-in box. Right, and we probably want to explicitly set this width here. It's going off my screen, and I'm not sure how to show you what I'm doing here without moving off a little bit. Let me close that back up over there. All right, um, we'll set this width to, uh, to you know, maybe 300. Nope, we need more than that. So, so properties, we'll do 400. Hmm. That should work out all right. Let's center that. And, oh, I know why. It won't go this way because I've got, I've got this set as well. I have my table properties set to 450, but the whole table is only like 600 wide, so I'm having conflicts here setting this up. I probably just want a wider table altogether. Go to table properties, just create a wider table for like 750, and you can see now that it's a little bit bigger. Um, so now let's go ahead and set the backgrounds. Um, we've got cell properties here. I'd like to set it to this one. And we can set this cell property to the same thing. Let's choose this one. Okay. And then we're going to 
change our font colors here and that looks like a decent opt-in box right there we can uh, preview this page here um, so I hope you've enjoyed the uh, the blog post here uh, if you have any questions or comments please um, put them at the bottom I'd be happy to uh, answer them and uh, thanks for listening I'll catch you on the flip side